Okay. Um, I should give some explanations, I guess, now. Um, this actually was two videos, and um, <coughs> these videos have been developed for the specific target audience. We call it Silver Age. And um, first video was, uh, as we call it, emotional story, which puts um, travelers into the Latvia best enjoyed slowly, and they express themselves what are the feelings. And the second one uh, was rather like overview, which is more targeted for the professional audience to see what attractions actually they have visited and uh, what have been feelings they have um, uh, felt uh, in uh, this um, trip uh, that we had for three days. And um, this actually is uh, trying to express very much what we understand behind the brand uh, that we have developed uh, for Latvian tourism. And uh, <clears throat> these are first materials because brand itself is very young. It's approximately one year. Uh, in one year, we now have developed a new portal. Uh, we have uh, <clears throat> developed new <clears throat> information materials. <clears throat> and uh, now it's time uh, to start up uh, videos. Um, these videos are not developed as advertising videos. Um, uh, this uh, is developed uh, for Internet. Uh, uh, so in a sense, actually, maybe quality was not that good on, on, the, on the screen. It's really high quality, and it's very well run on the Internet. And um, it's for multi-purposes. It's uh, for uh, purposes uh, to promote certain products. Uh, it's to promote ourselves in uh, exhibitions like ITB when this video runs on the stand. And it's also something to share with uh, friends, colleagues, and, and comment, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, so um, in some sense, I would say what feelings you have um, after watching this video, although you probably are not exact target audience. Other reactions? Yeah. Something else? Uh, I would like to ask uh, which product is uh, promoted in this uh, video? Spending of time. Okay, so we have slow morning. Okay. Uh, so what I will do now, I will uh, give a little bit of background, how we have come to this uh, and why we have come to this. And um, I will run through uh, presentation uh, shortly just to give uh, some um, key points um, so that you understand more about Latvia, not only feelings and how you can spend time. Um, in terms of products, uh, we see typical set of products that country can offer, which is culture, uh, nature, and some as, uh, so-called high uh, added value products, which brings uh, uh, good revenue, um, which is uh, medical and health tourism, typically um, sporting events uh, and infrastructure and conferences, workshops, and seminars, because this is long stays and, and, uh, um, and uh, you get uh, good revenue from those customers. And then what we have uh, observed, and this is uh, starting to get specific about Latvia, we have capital city Riga, which is almost half of uh, population, and it's uh, almost, uh, or it's actually more than half of economic power in the country. And in terms of tourism, it's 70-70% of uh, travelers staying in Riga. So we have very strong uh, city break product, very strong uh, capital um, with 800 years uh, old Hanseatic city, very rich cultural and uh, time-spending opportunities. And the big challenge is what to do with the brand Latvia, which is actually 20 years before Second World War, and now it's another 20 years. And I should be uh, very open. Uh, in, in reality, uh, Latvia as a country, as a society, 
um, is probably something like a teenage, because in these 20 years, I think we still try to figure out who we are. And in these terms, it's quite difficult to communicate outside um, some sensible uh, message, uh, what we can offer, uh, who we are, how we do things. So we have been very busy with ourselves to figure out who we are. And it's then very natural that uh, there has been um, not so much of active promotion of Latvia uh, outside in the, in the marketing communication terms. So in that sense, we can say that we actually should be stepping some really first steps. And um, when we uh, did think about the brand, we actually uh, had to think about also who we are and what we can offer. But anyway, in a practical terms of uh, products, um, we also uh, set up some values uh, that we need to put into the tourism product, and these values is quality in terms of customer perception. It's not the uh, hard uh, or, or tangible quality uh, assets. It's intangible. It's what customers think. Sustainable, um, because Latvia actually is one of the greenest countries in the world, um, that's fact. Uh, we do uh, very um, little pollution, um, and uh, we have very good uh, natural resources like water and clean air, and uh, very much of uh, green forests, uh, which is uh, more than half of our uh, country land. And, uh, of course, high added value, individualization, because nowadays more and more travelers travel individually, so we need to offer products that anyone can pick up and enjoy uh, himself. And involvement and experience, because now our travel industry says uh, that people want to have more of experience, of authentic feelings, of discovering maybe not only country, but maybe also discovering themselves. Uh, we have set um, six markets that we want to focus on, because we are a small country in terms of financial resources for marketing. In that sense, we need to focus uh, where we want to see uh, our audience and to whom we actually address our messages and uh, our products. So this has been set. And also, uh, just a few numbers to say that uh, in practical terms, we can go for quite much niche uh, products because um, uh, we have slightly more than one million um, uh, arrivals um, in Latvia, so we are not really big destination. So we should think about how to attract premium uh, travelers. I will run through statistics. It's not an um, issue today. Uh, this is interesting. We carry out uh, marketing research um, every year. And this is matrix when we can see what is the importance level and satisfaction level in terms of uh, tourism attractions. And actually, we perform very well, uh, for instance, on the security, which is very important. We perform very well. You can see here. So there is very many things that people don't know and assume about Latvia. It's actually a very safe place, especially when uh, travelers who visited Latvia say this. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, there is some things uh, also interesting, like tranquility being important and satisfied. And, of course, um, from this we can learn very much uh, what are our assets uh, for travelers. And a few uh, words about the brand itself. So we actually took the three things uh, that you need to have to establish tourism brand. The one is, of course, to see where is demand. It's, it's marketing basics, where it goes. And it says it goes more green. It goes more to true values, to authenticity, experience, senses, and knowledge. So nowadays, people uh, actually are willing uh, more and more to do uh, something for themselves instead of uh, being shocked by something unique or uh, it's for themselves, it's time for themselves. Uh, another one, of course, you cannot develop tourism brand which is not connected to the local uh, population, to local people, to what you believe in. Because in practical terms, every uh, citizen of Latvia is actually selling the product. So we ought to look at these things and 
uh, for Latvians, peace-loving, uh, family orientation, and mindful of classical moral canons is uh, typical things. And I, I was glad that somebody mentioned something uh, from the video that uh, you felt this. And another important thing is we wanted to have our brand different. We do not want, uh, we agree that we do not want uh, to have our brand like another welcome or another unique or another surprising. We wanted to have our brand different and outstanding from a cloud of generic tourism brands. And we wanted it to be uh, customer oriented so that you take your time and that's your opportunity, what you will take from our country, but we will offer you uh, a good time. And that's, um, that's, um, that's actually the promise that Latvia is a place where having arrived, you have the opportunity to change the tempo of the life. So that's the key thing, change tempo of your life. And then this is the brand, and we have made localizations to German market, uh, which is Nimnidi uh, Zeit, and for the Russian market, Adakhni Besuyeti, because obviously there is some cultural understanding of how you perceive traveling and how you take it to yourself. And um, that's why we also have made brand which is quite much targeted and specific instead of generic. And I think at this point I can say uh, thank you uh, for opportunity. And if there is any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Slokenberg. Do we have uh, any questions or comments? Yes. And please, as always, if you could stand and introduce yourself before, that would be great. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Heike Pintor. I'm a professor at the University of Madrid, and I'm here with my students. I saw that you have marked Spain on the map, and I wanted to ask you, what is your specific strategy for Spain from your point of view, from Latvia? What do you do? Um, actually, Spain is not one of our high-priority markets, uh, I should say. Uh, our high priority markets is Germany, Russia, uh, Lithuania, Estonia, Finland, and Sweden. Um, it's uh, actually uh, more because of our limited resources to do marketing activities. So in that sense, it does not make, you know, set up the market which you anyway don't have resources to work on. Um, but I should say that um, it's first step for us to develop a marketing strategy because I think in one or two years' time, we will grow up to think instead of geographic targeting to more psychographic targeting. And in that sense, it's less about uh, in which country you live. It's more about what are your values and what are you looking for. And in terms of Spain, um, I think in the future we can sell green summer because in Spain it's not a green summer. It's, it's too hot. And, and more and more people come over to, to Latvia to enjoy green summer. Yeah? Thank you. And you know, the, the, the backbone of our marketing strategy is word of mouth. Uh, actually, it's not written anywhere, but that's the only thing. Uh, and what we measure is net promotion score. And for Latvia, net promotion score last year was, uh, for German market, actually 45%. And that's, that's really good score. And that's why we go internet uh, as a key medium and net promotion scores. The key promoter is traveler. And we need to do everything so that it works so. And the second thing, actually, um, and, and good news is that last year, actually, it was the first source that people travel to Latvia because of recommendation of another travelers, and another one was Google. That's the second source. Mr. Stokenberg, I'd like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to you. It was really wonderful to have you here, as I said, to begin the day also with Latvia. Uh, it was a particular honor, personally as well as professionally, and we really, I think, benefited from this. And I personally am also very much looking forward to discovering Latvia after seeing the videos. Okay. So I think it worked in my case, but thank you very much, Mr. Stokenberg. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.